Welcome to the News Bulletin live on TBP TV, sponsored by TBP Professionals Institute and Chai Fans. In the headlines, stop interfering with OSP's work, Dom Levo tells government official. Nahin Su chief arrested again for filling wetland without permit. Now on the news in detail, former Auditor General Daniel Yao Dom Levo has urged government officials to stop interfering with the Office of the Special Prosecutor and called on the President to fully support the OSP in fulfilling its mandate. Speaking at the 2024 Dom Levo Accountability Lectures, he highlighted that the Special Prosecutor recently survived a petition for removal. Despite his initial disapproval of the OSP, Dom Levo emphasized the need to support the office in its fight against corruption. He recounted his collaboration with the first special prosecutor, Martin Amidou, and stressed the importance of giving the institution the necessary support to combat corruption effectively. Dom Levo expressed concern over the current special prosecutor, Kisi Ejabin, Facing significant challenges that hinder his work, he called on government officials to protect Ejabin and let him do his job. Noting, he seems to be the only person serious about fighting corruption. Now, officials from the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, on Thursday, July 18, clashed with the chief of Nahenso, accusing him of filling a local wetland. The heated exchange took place amidst concern over the environmental impact and legal implications of the chief's actions. Chief Nana Adobuaman defended his actions, claiming that his efforts to fill the area were intended to prevent flooding. He insisted that his work was necessary to address long-standing issues with poor road conditions and water accumulation. This is the second time the chief has clashed with officials of NADMO over his attempt to fill the land. Following the confrontation, the chief was taken to the Asoka Police Command to assist with investigations. Moving on, Mustafa Bande, the Deputy General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, has assured that the party will promptly address a petition submitted by over 40 constituency women organizers to the party's functional executive committee concerning alleged misconduct by the Greater Accra Regional Chairman, Emmanuel Ne Ashimo. Bande emphasized that the party would take actions once fully briefed on the matter. The petition from the women organizers alleged that Ashimo had repeatedly displayed aggressive behavior and threatened assault against some leading women in the party. The group stressed the urgency of the situation, noting the strategic importance of the Greater Accra region in the 2024 elections. They argued that it is crucial to address Ashimo's behavior to ensure the women's wing of the party can perform its duties with confidence and contribute to the party's success in the upcoming elections. In an interview with Umaru Sanda Amadou on Eyewitness News on City FM on Thursday, Bande stated, This petition is not anything strange. Every party goes through some of these difficulties. We do have mechanisms to address internal conflicts. In business news, Ghanaian cocoa farmers expect a boost in the 2024-2025 season, starting in October, after a sharp fall in production this season, contributed to boosting global cocoa prices to record levels. Ghana witnessed one of its poorest harvests in a decade this season, attributed to harsh weather conditions resulting from El Nino, rampant smuggling and swollen shoot disease. An increase in production would not only help Ghana's finances, also the global chocolate industry that has been grappling with tight supply. More than two dozen cocoa farmers, officials from Regulator Cocoa Board and buyers forecast a rebound in output next season thanks to improved weather and some rehabilitated from disease and illegal gold mining.
To end the news, a recap of the headlines. Petition against Ashimo, not strange. We will address it, NDC. Ghana's cocoa farmers expect yield rebound in 2024-2025 crop season. That's all for News Bulletin Live on TBP TV, sponsored by TBP Professionals Institute and Chai Fence. I'm Nana Ifia Aqua. Stay tuned for more.